Hello students, uh, we are going to perform the experiment related to to study the characteristics of reflex clistron. So what we'll be doing under this experiment is we'll be actually analyzing the relationship between beam voltage and current as well as repeller voltage and current. Uh, when the labs were in the offline mode, we have studied this thing which is called as clistron power supply. Uh, where I told you that the variation of beam voltage with that of repeller voltage. If we want to vary the beam voltage, we need to put it at V. If we want to see the current, we need to put it at C. If we want to vary the repeller voltage, we need to put it at this knob at REP. And accordingly, we can vary the repeller voltage, right? So, the experiment is related to the characteristics of reflex clistron. <coughs> Before starting with it, uh, let's have a look at the basic microwave bench. The basic microwave bench consists of the first thing which is called as the reflex clistron. After that is the isolator. This thing is called as the isolator. This is frequency meter. Frequency meter is totally optional. If we want to see the frequency of resonance, we can attach it. But otherwise, even uh, without this, this microwave bench can work to its best. And then is the variable attenuator. So this is the variable attenuator. And the last is the detector mount. So you can see this detector mount is nothing but a waveguide with one side closed and another side open which is connected to the variable attenuator. This is the port which is brought out so as to connect it to that of CRO. Right? <coughs> so I hope a basic microwave bench is clear to all. So throughout the lab, what we are going to do, we are going to keep this reflex clistron as it is. The isolator will be kept as it is. Frequency meter will be attached as it is. The variable attenuator will be attached as it is. The only thing that will change at the output end will be the device whose characteristics we want to observe. Here I have connected a simple detector mount and which is connected to the CRO. We can connect over here. At this port, we can connect E plane T, H plane T, magic T, directional coupler, circulator, gyrator, uh, even VNA, uh, any kind of horn antenna. So this is the port where the actual device will be changed and we will be doing the experiment related to it. So here is the connection. First is the flex clistron, then the isolator frequency meter this is the variable attenuator this is the knob of variable attenuator students so uh, this can go in clockwise this can come out anti-clockwise what it will do actually the signal which is coming through this waveguide will be attenuated as per the percentage of rod inserted inside this attenuator ठीक है जितना इसका रॉड इनसाइड जाएगा उतना वो सिग्नल वेवगाइड में अटैनुएट कर कर देगा सो द मोर इज द क्लॉकवाइज रोटेशन मोर इज द इंसर्शन ऑफ द रॉड इनसाइड द वेवगाइड लेसर इज द सिग्नल दैट इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ डिटेक्टर माउंट लेसर इज द रॉड इनसाइड मींस द एंटी क्लॉकवाइज सिग्नल द एंटी क्लॉकवाइज रोटेशन मोर इज द सिग्नल कमिंग आउट ऑफ दिस वेरिएबल अटैनुएटर एंड गोइंग टुवर्ड्स द डिटेक्टर माउंट right so this is the basic connection basic connection is this reflex clistron connected to this clistron power supply and the last which is the detector mount it is connected to this CRO so you can observe on CRO the readings of it is a square wave so kindly observe this thing the output of a reflex clistron will always be a square wave fine so this is what is the basic output that is being observed from a detector mount, right? So this way, uh, what we'll be doing under this experiment is we'll be actually varying the beam voltage. This is the beam voltage. Beam voltage ki value vary karte jaani hai. Accordingly, current ki value note karte jaani hai by keeping this knob over here, right? Similarly, we'll be varying the repeller voltage and seeing the value for current over here. Right, this is how you need to plot the graph between beam voltage and current, repeller voltage and current. So two kinds of graphs will be the output of this experiment. 
rest of the things can be kept as it is here it is kept at amplitude modulation everything is already set uh, one more thing about this uh, frequency meter if you try to see i'll be rotating it very very slowly and here is what you will observe a dip jaise jaise main isko slow clockwise ya anti clockwise move karungi right accordingly the waveform will have a dip for a very very small amount of time right bahut uh, minute second ke liye dip aayega jis point pe dip aayega that will be what it will be the frequency of resonance of this complete microwave bench so let me show you how it is going to be done so i'll be rotating it clockwise very slowly and just observe the cro screen you need to do it very slowly because otherwise you won't be able to notice that change in the uh, waveform a sudden dip and a complete change in waveform so you can see the dip in the waveform let me increase the amplitude the amplitude can be increased by just bringing out the rod from the variable attenuator so how do you note the frequency reading this red line and these two copper strips whatever is the intersection point that will be the frequency of resonance for example right now i am keeping this red line at 11.9 and this is these two copper strips so in between is the intersection so frequency of resonance can be said to be 11.9 this is all in gigahertz so it will be 11.9 gigahertz i hope the first experiment is clear students so just have a look at this microwave bench again the reflex klistron isolator frequency meter then is the variable attenuator detector mount connected to this cro and this reflex klistron connected to this klistron power supply another thing when this reflex klistron gets heated up you need to switch off this complete microwave bench to a minimum and then switch off the power supply in summers when we do this experiment we usually keep a small fan over here so that this reflex klistron does not get heated up if it gets heated up the readings will not be correct and it might burn up so a better precaution to use this reflex klistron is just keep a fan so that it gets cooled down fine otherwise how you need to switch off this power supply never switch off the power supply directly by putting the switch off better is a better way as an engineer is to firstly bring the repeller voltage to a minimum and beam voltage to a minimum so right now the knob is at beam so just bring this beam voltage to a minimum right beam voltage will be minimized and this repeller voltage will be minimized in this way right after that you need to switch off this power supply from here i hope it is clear